Hello, light workers, star seeds, deliberate creators. Today, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna teach you five warning signs from the universe. Now, these five signs will help you to avoid wasting your time, disappointment, even heartbreak, heart hurt, uh, anxiety. This, these signs will put you in the right direction because these are signs that I've personally experienced myself. So I'm going to teach you what I've learned so that you won't have to go through the drama, the trauma, the disappointment, all the other stuff that we all go through. So I'm going to reveal them to you. Now let me say this before I get into the signs. I, I have to paint the picture for you to kind of show you what's going on so that when I reveal these signs to you, you can personally relate it to yourself. With that being said, uh, the majority of these signs are coming by way of our ego. You know, the reason we struggle a lot, the reason we uh, limit our progress to create what we want in our lives, it's really our ego. You know, in the universe, with these signs that you're gonna, you're gonna receive, what the universe is actually saying to you is, look, I have something better for you. You have to trust and you have to let go. That was the message on my journey or my continued journey. And it's the same message for you on your journey. Remember now that the universe is always communicating to us. We live in a friendly universe. You have a lot of guides, you have a lot of help. You have higher self, you have spirit guides, you have intuition, you have all these forces that are part of you because remember you exist outside. It's like a filament. You're outside, you're looking in and you're guiding and guiding and protecting your own self. The problem is your own ego, our own ego uh, creates what we call pattern interruption. So you miss communication with what you're supposed to do. So keep in mind when you get, when I, when I talk about these signs now, keep in mind that they are always moving you to something better, even though your mind may not logically understand it, but I want you to get the picture of what's going on so that you can self adjust. So let's begin. Sign number one, dead ends. Whenever you try to do something, you notice you want to go left, you go right. You want to create something, something blocks you. There's always some kind of resistance going on. It's like, man, I can't win for losing, right? You get that mentality, you say to yourself, wow, everything I do, it's not working out, okay? That's a sign from the universe to tell you, stop. That ain't the, that's not your goal, that's not the mission. Leave that alone. The question is, all right, but if I leave that alone, how do I know what to do? Here's the answer. If you don't know what to do, don't do anything. You chill, you relax. What will happen is the universe will guide you with inspired action. In other words, at some point during that time you're in chill space, you'll get the information on the next move to make. So whenever you're forcing and pushing, it's a direct sign of the universe to tell you, no, that's not where to go. Even though your ego is saying, Mark, Jennifer, Phil, whoever, we, this is it, man. We got to go here. We got to make this happen. No, it's not. The universe is saying, I have something better for you. This is not the way to do it. There's infinite ways. But our minds are so locked on, our ego, right? It's so constructed and constricted. To what it wants you have to let go okay so that's sign number one when you meet when we get what I call roadblocks sign number two you start to see the number one 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 now again the universe talks to us through signs and synchronicities one 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 is a very peculiar number now one 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 or angel number eleven eleven has two meanings the significant meaning of the number is this. What the number basically means is your thoughts are too focused on one thing or pay attention to your thoughts because it's manifesting. Now, remember, this is individual. It could be a good thing. You may be seeing 111 because you've been focusing on good stuff and the universe is reminding you. But you could also be seeing 111 because you're focusing too much on the negative stuff. So the universe is telling you, hey, 
Be careful because you're, what you're focusing on right now, you're manifesting it. In other words, your constant attention to it will bring it to you. So the universe is warning you and say, hey, stop it. Take, Stop focusing on what you don't want and start focusing on what you do want. So the thing about the one one, it comes up constantly. Now, if you're in a situation where you're experiencing this, that's your sign, your warning sign. Universe has something better for you. All right. Sign number three, you get body feelings, your gut, you get intuitive nudges. You feel that queasy, that nervousness in your gut, your what you call your spider senses or your intuition senses are going off the charts. That is because your body is tapping into an energy field that is not conducive or conductive with your higher purpose. So it's warning you and it's telling you, this situation we're doing, even though it seems right, you feel it, my body, mentally, your ego is telling you, all the signs are there, it looks good, but your body is giving you a different feeling and you say to yourself, but wait a minute, intellectually, this seems everything lines up, but why is my body reacting differently? You know, this person is very nice, they talk to me very nice. Or this investment, all the doors are open to do this. It's, everything is lining up. Intellectually, the money's there. Everything is there. The, the person is very nice. But my body or my stomach is telling me something's wrong. Listen to your body. It knows things the mind can't. That's a sign from the universe to tell you, nope, this is not the right thing. Right? So we got sign number one, which is our roadblock. Sign number two, one, one, one. Sign number three... Right, we just talked about that, the body and the gut. Now we go to sign number four. And sign number four now has to do with seeing the number 666. Now for everyone out there, let me set the record straight. 666 is not the mark of the beast. That's an uh, analogy that's disproven. It's not, not the number. 666 is a number of dreaming big, or it's a number of your thoughts are unfocused or unbalanced. So again, this goes to your personal situation. So you could be seeing 666 because maybe you aren't dreaming too big. Maybe the universe is telling you, hey, you're settling. Okay? That's, that's the good meaning of 666. On the other hand, 666 has a similar meaning to 111. And the 666 means basically, hey, the difference between 111 and 666 is angel number 111 is telling you that what you're focusing on right now is creating something to manifest. It's instantly manifesting. 666 is telling you what 666 is saying to you is what you're focused on right now is you're thinking of it too much. You're over balanced. You're not, you're not balanced. You're just too much into this type of thinking or mentality. And the universe again is warning you and telling you, hey, stop it. It's going to work out for you. Things are going to get better for you. I have a bigger plan for you, right? So that's sign number four. Warning number four from the universe. Now, warning number five. Dreams. If you start to receive dreams about... And these dreams now, they're not your unique dreams. So let me explain to you how they work. If you ever start to have consecutive dreams where it's a lot of emotional stuff, maybe disappointment, uh, shame, any any dreams of yourself not succeeding in what you want or just reference to deep emotional traumas that are, you seem to come up in your dreams like, why am I dreaming this? Why am I, I mean, on the outside I feel good and, and everything, but in my dreams I just feel like I'm low or I'm not worthy or... You know, I see myself failing or things not working out. That's the universe communicating to you through your subconscious mind to tell you, hey, start to observe and take a bigger picture of what you're doing because maybe what you're doing is not leading you to what the best path for you. So uh, that's the sign I found. Now, the interesting thing about all of this, guys, is you got to remember something, all right? And this is the main point of all this. Remember that human beings, we have five senses, right? And it's our conscious mind. Here's the thing about your conscious mind. It, all, it loves its primary source is to, for survival, right? And it also wants to interpret reality. It's a desperate mind. 
it, that's why it's always searching it's always processing it's always putting you ahead it can't see the bigger picture so you have to understand that your own minds our own minds can be enemies to us because what our own minds see on the surface is not what's actually happened on the deeper interior part it takes a higher level of awareness and understanding a higher intelligence to see beyond the facade and go deep within and that is where the universe and your higher self comes in so keep in mind in your ego may attack you and say man that, that don't mean nothing just ignore them come on we're, we're going straight but I guarantee you one thing I'm telling you from experience I did that I was used to do that I said ah oh, forever and I met with disappointment roadblocks and wasted time so I'm giving you the jewels to so you don't do it because you have the same mind as I do none of our minds are different we're all in the same composition so if I'm experiencing it you're gonna experience it if I'm thinking it you're thinking it. our minds work similar so you want to keep that in mind so the question is all right mark so when this happens what do I do when I see these warning signs here's what I've learned and I've discovered about this when you see these warning signs it's it's always telling you that okay you're not in control man let your higher self give you the information to go so you know what I do I let go man I just chill and I stop that's it I let go I just let it go I detach and I stay behind the scenes and I wait for instructions on what to do next I do not let my ego get out of hand and start to tell me hey, you got to make a move you got to do this come on everything's lined up no 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 because I recognize those signs and now this is in retrospect to now back then I probably would have went with the, my ego but now because I've learned this and I've experienced this it, when it happens and it does happen I can see the picture because I know remember the signs and I see the signs and I said alright guy you got me once but you're not gonna get me again because now I know these signs see and I can tell you every time it works out for something better it's like every disappointment was for a good that's a motto I use today every disappointment is for a good so now I see these signs and when they come up I know okay man I let it go and then guess what something better something more in my line of purpose happens and that same thing will happen for you so there are those five signs so you can use them if you're experiencing them right now take my word for it let go because the universe has something better for you got it thank you